Hi, I'm Jan Berry, and I am a fifth generation Floridian, so love the ocean is in my blood. And here I am running to the beach with my family in about 1953. I'm about four. Can't wait to get in the ocean. And I got pushed under the water by the big waves and uh, just having a grand old time. Never afraid. Just uh, really always loved the ocean and so fortunate to be able to enjoy um, nature. Well, so it wasn't surprising when in um, 1978 I became a certified scuba diver. I also joined the environmental movement at the same time by becoming a chemical engineer and um, worked on cleaning up the Department of Energy, Cold War waste, and um, then I worked on advanced energy systems. And now I've taken about 45 dives in different places. One of my favorite places was Roatan off the coast of Honduras where um, I'm looking at this seahorse. We're about 90, 90 feet down. Really have enjoyed watching the beautiful um, corals. They provide uh, about 27% of the habitat for fish in the ocean and um, you know lots of protection from storms and they help uh, support the fish so that people can eat them. Well, uh, about 30% of corals have died, though, and um, we're, I went on a trip to Bonaire where there's still a lot of healthy coral, but this is close to the shore where it's all dead from pollution runoff, from increased temperatures, from global warming, and from the carbon, excess carbon that's in the air that gets absorbed into the water and turns into carbonic acid. Well, that carbonic acid then dissolves corals and um, and other hard parts like oysters and scallops and other shells. So we're swimming out to do my uh, reef restoration vacation here. Um, I'm cleaning the trees. We got different kinds of uh, endangered corals here. Uh, we work primarily on the staghorn corals, we cut off some of the fingerlings from the corals there and, and uh, hung them from um, started a new coral by hanging it from a monofilament line, starting a new coral. You see there are some really mature, nice corals that are ready to be outplanted. So we cut the, I cut those off of the tree and dropped them to the ground and then cut the monofilament line off. You see that white tip on the coral is the um, healthy growth. I'm um, cutting that monofilament line off and making sure that I don't handle the coral too you know, I have to be real careful because each one of those little white bumps is a is a polyp where um, microalgae lives that keeps the coral alive. So we took about 10 of these new these corals that had grown and uh, put them in a basket and took them to an area where there wasn't any coral and we wedged them together and made a little coral reef. And this is about five minutes after we made this little reef. There's a fish swimming in the fish swimming in the coral that made us really happy to see so you can tell that it's going to grow into a great big beautiful coral reef like these this one that was out planted by others and you can see it's really doing a good job of bringing in the marine life so you know if you want to get involved in in helping you know fight climate change and and protecting our habitat you know just google citizens climate and You'll see that there's lots of opportunities to, to get involved and and do some try to reverse these the damage that is being done by uh, climate change.